Hey there, Broncos. Remember last week, we talked about how an author gives you a certain position, but then also gives reasons that support that position. So our topic was arguments, claims, and reasons. We also read an article about school uniforms. Many of you shared your position on school uniforms and you gave me reasons why you either like them or you didn't. And then there was another article we had about Josh, the YouTuber. Again, the author had a certain position and then supported it with evidence. Now, this week, we're gonna take it a little bit further. We're gonna learn about some devices that the author uses when they give you a claim and then support that claim. I'm gonna share those devices in a PowerPoint. So I'm gonna share my screen with you now. And we're gonna look at these devices. Argumentative text. In other words, why I'm right. Okay, so look at the meaning presented here. It says, what is argumentative text? Argumentative text, if you can read this with me, is a type of writing in which the author presents a claim about a certain issue or topic. The author may use opinions, but will use relevant facts and evidence to support his or her point of view. Argumentative usually sticks to the facts. So that's how you know you have an argumentative text. It is an author who's presenting a claim with facts. All right, so the purpose, let's look at the purpose of argumentative text, is to persuade or convince the audience to consider their point of view by providing relevant facts and opinions. Now, here are the devices I told you about. These are persuasive devices or techniques authors use to convince the audience. Authors will use a variety of strategies to convince the reader of his or her point of view. Number one, antidote. Say that with me, antidote. It is a brief story to help express his or her point of view. Next, repeat after me, hyperbole. An extreme exaggeration to express their point of view. Next, stereotyping making a generalization about a person of groups to prove their point. Next, repeat this one, appeal to their emotions. Using words that appeal to their emotions instead of logic or reason. Facts, including relevant research-based information, and then opinions, including their own point of view. So these are the six devices that the authors will use to convince the strategy, con to convince the reader, I'm sorry, of their point of view. All right, now here's some examples of each one of those. For example, an antidote might be in uh, answer to should we have music class. I remember the fun times I had in music class playing the flute. That would be an antidote. Remember how we talked about antidotes in writing? like a short memory or a short story about something. Hyperbole, all students enjoy music and dancing. Well, that's an exaggeration because not all students enjoy music and dancing, okay? Stereotyping, young kids get bored easily and music can be entertaining. That's kind of stereotyping because it may not be true of everyone, of all young kids. Appear to their emotions. Do you like the feeling of belonging? Then join the school band is a must. So that's an example of trying to get somebody's emotions involved to convince them. And then facts. Doctors report that music is good for your mental health. That's a fact that would have evidence to support that. And then an opinion, music is important in education. Well, that's kind of an opinion because somebody may not agree with you on that. But a lot of people would. All right, let's keep going. 
What is their point of view or claim? How did the author try to persuade you? Now look at this ad for cereal. It's a bowl of cereal. And then the text says, tasty flake breakfast cereal. Everyone is enjoying it. Well, it's trying to persuade you that it must be really good because everyone's enjoying it. That's what the text says anyway. Let's look at this next one. What is their point of view or claim? How did the author try to persuade you? Look at this for a minute. McDonald's Big Macs are only 15% real beef. The other 85% is meat filler cleansed with ammonia, which causes stomach and intestinal cancer. <gasps> oh my gosh. What is their point of view? Do they like McDonald's? Mm, probably not. <laughs> Do they want you to go to McDonald's? No, because they're telling you all this bad stuff about their beef, right? So they're trying to convince you that you probably shouldn't go and have McDonald's Big Mac. That's their opinion. All right, let's look at the next ad. What is their point of view or claim? How did the author try to persuade you? Coca-Cola, open a Coke, open happiness. What is their claim? Are they saying Coke's gonna make you happy? Yes, it says if you open it, you're opening happiness. So if you like Coke, you might agree with this. But if you don't, you might think, hmm, that's just their opinion. All right, look at this one. What's on your hands? What's the point of view here? Okay, gives you some examples here. I'm gonna make this one a little bit larger, especially now since we see how important washing your hands is. Okay, so we've got money. Look at the germs you get from money, from a doorknob, from touching a basketball, a bathroom door, a keyboard. Oh my gosh, I'm touching a keyboard right now. A cell phone, an MP3 player, remote control. Viruses and bacteria can live for several hours on many surfaces. What did you touch today? A faucet, a pencil, a computer mouse, a desktop. <gasps> All these things have germs on them. That's why it's so important to wash your hands. All right, so what's your job as a reader when reading argumentative text? As readers, it's important to identify the claims, facts, details, explanations, and examples the author makes and determine if the evidence the author uses to support his position or points is reasonable and logical. And as a reader, we would then use the determinations to form explanations of how the author used facts to support his or her argument. Whoa, that was a mouthful. And as readers, we must analyze the text claims and support and evidence and evaluate its effectiveness. In other words, Using all of this information, does the author make a valid claim? In other words, do they do enough to convince you of their opinion? All right, here's just some other important vocabulary. I'm gonna ask you to read through that on your own because you can look at this video as many times as you need. And then here are some questions to think about as you read argumentative text because you're going to be reading more argumentative text this week. So here's some questions to think about, like to clarify for evidence and to analyze. So you'll be referring back to these questions throughout the week as you get those articles to read. All right, that concludes the PowerPoint. And I'm just going to say, um, you will see in the Google Classroom directions for this assignment that after you watch this video, go ahead and record your six devices. So I'm going to go back to that slide just so you will know exactly what I'm talking about. These six devices right here. An adult hyperbole, stereotyping, appeal to their emotions, facts, and opinions. Okay. You're gonna write those down using the Pages app, all right? And that concludes this video. I'll see you next time.